Uh, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, it's been a while since I've not made a tutorial. I think a week, but I've been doing some recent activity on YouTube. But I never uploaded a tutorial recently. Uh, uh, so let's get uh, okay. Uh, today in GIMP, we're gonna be making uh, some uh, nice looking metal chrome text effect in GIMP, realistic metal chrome text. So, uh, and uh, before I start the tutorial, I want to say that I would also be making a Photoshop version of this tutorial. Yes, a Photoshop version of this tutorial, just to show that, you know, GIMP and Photoshop are not that different. Yeah, uh, so all those GIMP levels out there, I think uh, you should uh, try Photoshop. But for those slow computers, uh, I don't know, you may have a problem, but uh, yeah, let's get started. Open up GIMP. Mine may take a while to load, you know. Sorry. And, uh. Okay, I need your help. You know. Oh, uh, just one sec. I'm thinking of my, uh, next tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial, I'm confused on what it should be. The Photoshop, con Photoshop version will be there. But I'm thinking of the next tutorial. Uh, please help me. Uh, I don't know. Should I make this, uh, this, uh, should I make this wallpaper on the, on my next tutorial, uh, or should I make this movie poster that I made, a movie poster, just using some renders and text. So the movie poster is made in Photoshop, Can it can also be made in GIMP, uh, the wallpaper is made in Photoshop, no, the wallpaper is made in GIMP, it can also be made in Photoshop. So, uh, yeah, just, you know, help me. This will be the movie poster. You can please comment on the video, the poster or the wallpaper. So, yeah. We have GIMP to open up. Oh, uh, let's get started. Go to file, new, any size. I'm going to go with the default size for the tutorial sake. And, uh, you know, yeah, now I'm just going to enlarge that, you know. And now select your gradient tool. We're going to be using a dark gray to the black. So select a dark gray. And select your background as black. One sec, one sec. Yeah, so as you can see, I've put my shape on radial. And I just uh, stroked the gradient like that. Now uh, select your text tool. This, uh, you know, this tutorial is very easy to make. Just need to, uh, anyways. I'm going to be using a font called uh, Pepsi. The Pepsi font you may be knowing. It's a very famous one. And we're going to enlarge the scale, I think, by around 115. And just type in your text. And I'm just going to type in a single letter. Just, you know, I think letter F will go well, yeah. Or B. I don't know, we can use anything. I'm just going to use B right now for the example. I think I'm going to enlarge it by around 200. Yeah, 200. I'm going to center that. No, actually, I'm going to enlarge the scale by scaling it. I don't know. This font is a bit small, you know. So, yeah, move it wherever you want. Now, I'll for the selection the text. Select your brush tool. Select a medium fuzzy brush, like uh, the size I have over here, as you can see. Uh, just do what I do. We're gonna stroke. Start with a light gray, and uh, press Shift on your keyboard, so you get this, you know, straight line thing. Just stroke out like that. Just stroke like that. Just click on the line, and then select a darker gray. And do the same. I think we're gonna adjust that. Like you can just go normally, you know, that's a bit, irrit bit irritating, getting the correct lines and bit, yeah, any, 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 I'm just gonna go with the default way, like this, actually it's not the default way, <laughs> sorry, yeah, I'm gonna start like that, I'm, I'm sorry if you hear some noise in the background, you know, there's something right there, so, 
you should I think you should get something like this. I think just a uh, one sec one sec one sec. Yeah, so uh sorry again for pausing the video. And you should get you can do whatever you want, but I'm just okay with this. Now what we're gonna do is make a new layer. You do uh, select shrink. I'm gonna shrink that by uh, by around I think six pixels. No, no, that's too less. You do select shrink. I think shrink that by around uh, twelve pixels. If you if you're using the font, depends. And I'm gonna fill that in with a nice dark, a nice dark gray. You select none. And as you can see, you get you have your nice looking chrome text. It can go with any background. I'm just gonna go with let's see red. Yeah, it looks good, yeah. You can go with any background. Just go with it like that. How about black? Yeah. So anyway, you can go with any background. And after done that, we're gonna merge those down. Now we're gonna add the little glowy effect. Alpha to selection the text. Make a new layer. Select your bucket fill tool and fill that in with white. Go to select none. Oh, actually, uh, I'm sorry. Undo all that. Don't merge the layer. Alpha to selection the B layer, text layer. Make a new layer. Fill that in. Select none. Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I think we're gonna blur that by around. Uh, I think yeah. nine pixels, and then we're gonna load the opacity around there, so you get this nice glow effect. So as you can see, there's a lot of difference. So one sec, one. Sec. Yeah. So uh, that's how you can make this nice looking metal chrome text in GIMP. And remember, I will also be making a GIMP. I mean, a Photoshop version of this. So for those who want the Photoshop version. It'll be up, I think, by uh, by tomorrow. So yeah, uh, I'm Tapu Bank, and thanks for watching the channel. Have a nice day.